Bonjour. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use the negative form in French. In French, we use two words to express the negation: ne and pas. These words are going to stand on each side of the conjugated verb. Ne stands before the verb and pas stands after the verb. For instance, je ne suis pas malade. I am not ill. Before a vowel or a silent h, ne becomes an apostrophe. For instance, nous n'avons pas d'enfants. We do not have children. Orally or in colloquial context, the ne is often dropped. For instance, je suis pas malade. I'm not ill. In compound tenses, such as the passé composé, the negative words keep surrounding the conjugated verb. In other words, ne stands before the auxiliary avoir or être and pas stands between the auxiliary and the past participle. For instance, elle n'a pas mangé, she did not eat. There are other negative words that can replace pas and express different nuances. Here are some adverbs. Ne jamais, never, ne plus, no more, not anymore, no longer, ne gare, hardly, scarcely, ne point, not at all. For instance, je ne bois jamais, I never drink. Please note that ne guerre and ne point are used in formal context. Some other negative words are pronouns. Ne rien, nothing. Ne personne, no one, nobody. Ne aucun, nothing, not any. For instance, je ne vois rien, I cannot see anything. Aucun can also be an adjective. For instance, je ne vois aucun inconvénient, I do not see any problem. Ne nul, no. No enough is also an adjective. For instance, je n'en ai nul besoin, I do not need it. Nul is quite formal. Ne, ni, ni is a conjunction. It means neither, nor. For instance, je ne bois ni vin ni bière. I drink neither wine nor beer. Personne, rien, as well as nul used as a pronoun, are sometimes subject of the sentence. The order is personne, rien, nul, ne, and the verb. For instance, personne ne m'aime. Nobody loves me. Please do not mistake personne ne for la personne, which means the person. Likewise, rien ne is not the same as un rien, a little thing, a tad. Moreover, the adjectives aucun and nul can modify a noun that is the subject. The order is aucun, nul, noun, ne, verb. For instance, aucun métier n'est facile. No job is easy. And once again, nul ne is quite formal. Here are other negative patterns. Ne pas is used with infinitives and means not to. For instance, je voudrais ne pas travailler. I would like not to work. Non pas mais is used when the negative form is in the first part of the structure. It means not that. For instance, des doutes me sont venus sur ma raison, non pas des doutes vagues, mais des doutes précis. I had some doubts about my reason, not vague doubts, but specific ones. Rien and personne, as answers to questions, are used alone without no. For instance, que fais-tu? Rien. What are you doing? Nothing. A few verbs use only ne without pas to express a negative form. It usually indicates a formal register. Cesser, to cease, to stop. And please note that with cesser, you do not use pas in all contexts. Then you have oser, to dare. Pouvoir, can, to be able to, it is the most important one. And savoir, to know. For instance, nous ne pouvons vous aider. We cannot help you. Finally, there are expressions that look like negative forms because they contain ne, but are not. Ne que means only. For instance, il ne mange que des bonbons. He only eats sweets. Ne faire que means to do nothing but, to do something incessantly. For example, ceci ne fait que renforcer notre hypothèse. This does nothing but strengthen our hypothesis. And finally, ne plus que means no longer anything except. For example, il ne pense plus qu'à rentrer. He thinks about nothing except going home. All he thinks about is going home. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.